in the twilight of a war-torn galaxy, where the stars themselves bore scars of endless conflict, a planet of remarkable beauty and serenity floated in the vast ocean of space, untouched by the chaos that reigned elsewhere. This world, Terra, was a jewel of life, home to a myriad of species, including humans, who had long sought peace amidst the stars. On one fateful day, the sky above Terra was pierced by a streak of light, a ship unlike any other, its design foreign and its purpose unknown. It descended with a grace that belied its desperate flight, crashing into the dense forests of the northern hemisphere. The impact site, hidden from immediate view, became the center of a mystery that would soon entwine the fates of two beings from worlds apart. Within the vessel, amidst the flickering lights and the groan of stressed metal, lay a figure unlike any the humans had known. She was from a race thought to be a myth, an alien species of incredible power and intellect. Yet here she was, vulnerable and injured, her ship a ruined shell of its former glory. The news of the crash spread quickly, reaching the ears of a soldier who had known nothing but the front line of battlefields that stretched across planets and moons. This soldier, hardened by war yet guided by a deep-seated belief in doing what was right, decided to investigate the crash site alone, driven by a curiosity that went beyond mere duty. As the soldier navigated the dense undergrowth, the sounds of the forest at night filled the air, a symphony of life that seemed oblivious to the wider conflicts of the galaxy. Finally the wreck came into view, its alien lines glowing faintly under the moonlight, a sight both ominous and mesmerizing. Inside the ship, the soldier found the alien girl, her features ethereal, and her presence commanding even in weakness. She was barely conscious, her breath shallow, and her skin marked with wounds from the crash. The soldier, recognizing the direness of her condition, knew that immediate action was necessary to save her life. Despite the barriers between them, language, culture, and species, the soldier felt a compelling urge to help. With a gentle touch, the soldier tended to her wounds with the medical supplies from the pack, all the while wondering about the series of events that had led this alien being to crash on Terra. As the hours passed, the alien girl's condition stabilized, and she opened her eyes to gaze upon the human who had come to her aid. In that moment, a connection was formed, silent but profound, transcending the vast distances of space and the histories of their peoples. It was a mutual recognition of shared sentience, of pain endured, and of the flickering flame of hope that still burned within them both. The soldier, understanding the risks involved, decided to move the alien girl to a safer location, away from the prying eyes of authorities and those who might seek to exploit her for their ends. It was a decision that would change the course of their lives forever, binding their fates together in a story that was yet to unfold. As they ventured deeper into the wilderness, away from the wreckage and the impending arrival of those drawn by curiosity and greed, the soldier pondered the future. There were too many questions without answers, too many potential dangers lurking in the shadows. Yet, amidst all the uncertainty, there was a glimmer of something else, an unspoken promise of understanding, of learning, and perhaps of healing the wounds that had been inflicted by a galaxy in turmoil. The forest canopy above whispered secrets of ancient times, its leaves rustling with the tales of the earth and sky. Under this verdant dome, the soldier, whose name was Alex, carried the alien girl, whom he silently named Aria, for her voice, though unheard, seemed to sing with a celestial melody in his mind. Their journey was marked by the cautious avoidance of any trails that might lead pursuers to their path. Alex had chosen a remote cabin, a relic from his past life, as their sanctuary. It was a place hidden well enough to provide the secrecy they needed, nestled in a clearing that saw the first light of dawn and the last light of dusk with unbridled clarity. Upon reaching the cabin, the first task was to ensure Arya's comfort and continued recovery. The cabin, though modest, offered the basics of shelter and warmth. Alex laid Arya gently on a bed, covering her with blankets to ward off the chill of the night. Her breathing was steady now, a sign that her strength was returning, albeit slowly. In the quiet moments that followed, Alex observed Arya with a mix of fascination and concern. Her features were delicate, 
yet there was a resilience to her that spoke of a warrior's spirit. Her skin shimmered under the cabin's dim light, reflecting hues that seemed to shift with her breathing. It was clear that Arya was no ordinary being. Her presence alone challenged everything Alex had known about the universe. The night passed in silence, a silent guardian and a silent guest, each lost in their thoughts. For Alex, the decision to help Arya was driven by an instinct he couldn't fully understand. It was more than duty. It was a call from deep within, a need to protect and to stand by someone who, despite being an alien, shared the same sky and stars. As dawn broke, casting light upon the hidden abode, Arya's eyes fluttered open, meeting Alex's gaze with a clarity that seemed to pierce his very soul. In that moment, without words, a communication transcended the barriers of language and species. It was an acknowledgment of their shared ordeal and a mutual recognition of the trust that had begun to form between them. Alex attempted to communicate, using gestures and simple words, hoping to bridge the gap between their worlds. Arya watched, her eyes reflecting a deep intelligence, and slowly she began to mimic his gestures, a sign that she was learning, adapting, and willing to connect. The days that followed were filled with small victories. Arya's strength returned, and with it, her curiosity about the world she found herself in. She was fascinated by the flora and fauna of the forest, observing them with an intensity that spoke of a scientist's mind. Together they explored the surroundings, Alex teaching her about Terra, while Arya, in her unique way, shared glimpses of her world, a place of beauty and knowledge but also of shadows and sorrow. As their understanding of each other deepened, so too did the realization of the challenges they faced. The universe was a vast and often unfriendly place, and there were those who would see Arya not as a being with rights and emotions, but as a tool for power or a specimen for study. Yet amidst the uncertainty and danger, a bond had formed between them, unspoken but as real as the stars above. It was a bond born of shared experiences, of moments filled with laughter and wonder, and of nights filled with silent contemplation of the universe's mysteries. In this secluded corner of the galaxy, on a planet teeming with life and beauty, Alex and Arya found something unexpected. A friendship that transcended the boundaries of worlds. A connection that spoke of the possibility of understanding and peace in a galaxy, too often divided by fear and conflict. As the days melded into weeks, the sanctuary of the cabin and the surrounding wilderness became a crucible for the forging of a deep, unspoken alliance between Alex and Arya. The soldier, once a solitary figure defined by the rigors of combat and the discipline of military life, found in Arya a kindred spirit, a being who, despite her alien origins, shared his sense of duty and his profound connection to the natural world. Arya, for her part, began to adapt to her new environment with a grace and curiosity that belied the complexity of her situation. The planet Terra, with its diverse ecosystems and vibrant life, fascinated her, offering a stark contrast to the technologically advanced yet ecologically barren world she had known. Through Alex's eyes, she saw the beauty of a sunrise, the tranquility of a forest at night, and the simple pleasure of rain falling on leaves, experiences that stirred within her a sense of wonder and a glimmer of hope for what the future might hold. However, the tranquility of their existence was not to last. The universe, with its inexorable forces and endless intrigues, began to close in on their secluded haven. Unbeknownst to Alex and Arya, their movements had been tracked, their sanctuary discovered by those with vested interests in the knowledge and power Arya represented. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting the forest in a twilight glow, the peace of the cabin was shattered by the arrival of a group of uninvited guests. They were mercenaries, hardened by conflict, and motivated by the promise of wealth, tasked with capturing Arya and bringing her to their employers shadowy figures who lurked in the corridors of power across the galaxy. Alex, ever vigilant, had prepared for such an eventuality. The cabin, chosen for its isolation and defensibility, became a fortress in the waning light. As the mercenaries approached, Alex and Arya stood side by side, ready to defend their sanctuary and each other. 
the ensuing confrontation was swift and fierce. Alex, utilizing his military training and intimate knowledge of the terrain, engaged the intruders with precision and determination. Arya, though unaccustomed to violence, proved to be an invaluable ally, using her unique abilities to confuse and disorient their attackers, turning the tide of the battle in their favor. In the aftermath, as the last of the mercenaries fled into the night, Alex and Arya were left to contemplate the fragility of their peace and the certainty that more challenges would come. The attack was a stark reminder of the dangers they faced, not just from those who sought to exploit Arya, but from the very nature of a universe where conflict and ambition often overshadowed compassion and understanding. In the silence that followed, a new resolve took shape between them. They recognized that to survive, to continue their journey together, they would need to be more than just companions. They would need to be allies, bound by a shared purpose and a common cause. The decision was made to leave the cabin, to seek out allies and resources that could help them navigate the complexities and dangers of the galaxy. It was a daunting task, one that would take them across the stars, into the heart of conflicts and conspiracies that spanned worlds and civilizations. As they prepared to depart, Alex and Arya took a moment to reflect on the journey that had brought them together. From the wreckage of a crashed ship to the quiet solitude of a forest cabin, they had found in each other a sense of belonging and a source of strength. They stood on the brink of an uncertain future, but they faced it together, united by a bond that had been tested by fire and forged in the crucible of shared experiences. With their gear packed and the cabin secured, Alex and Arya stepped out into the cool night, their gaze turning towards the stars. The starship, a sleek vessel commandeered from an abandoned outpost on the fringes of the settled galaxy, hummed with energy as it cut through the vast expanse of space. Alex at the helm, with Arya by his side, navigated through star systems and asteroid fields, their destination a place whispered in the corners of spaceports and hidden in the coded messages of the underground networks, the Lyran Nebula, a region of space known for its beauty and danger in equal measure. The Lyran Nebula, a colossal cloud of gas and dust, lit from within by the fires of newborn stars, was a haven for those seeking to escape the prying eyes of galactic authorities and the greedy grasp of corporate entities. It was here, amidst the shifting veils of color and light, that Alex and Arya sought allies, information, and a safe harbor to plan their next move. As they approached the nebula, the ship's sensors flickered with the interference caused by the dense cosmic dust and the powerful electromagnetic storms that raged within the nebula's heart. Arya, her connection to the ship's systems deepened by her unique abilities, guided them through the turbulence, her hands moving with practiced ease over the controls. Deep within the nebula, hidden by the swirling mists and protected by the natural defenses of the environment, lay the outpost, a station that served as a meeting place for those who lived in the shadow of the galaxy's law. The outpost was a melting pot of species and cultures, a place where information was currency and alliances were both forged and broken with a handshake. Upon their arrival, Alex and Arya were met with a mix of curiosity and suspicion. The outpost was a place where trust was earned, not given, and their sudden appearance, in a ship unmarked by any recognizable faction, raised questions among the outpost's inhabitants. Undeterred, Alex and Arya began to navigate the complex social landscape of the outpost. They frequented the crowded marketplaces, where goods from every corner of the galaxy were traded under the watchful eyes of the station's overseers. They visited the taverns and meeting halls, listening to the stories of travelers and traders, piecing together the intricate tapestry of alliances and enmities that defined the nebula's denizens. It was in one such tavern, a place lit by the soft glow of bioluminescent plants and the warmth of a dozen different species gathered in camaraderie, that Alex and Arya found their first ally. Dr. Lyra Venn, a scientist and explorer who had spent years navigating the dangers of the nebula, recognized in them a shared sense of purpose and a common enemy in the shadowy forces that sought to control the galaxy. Dr. Venn, 
with her vast knowledge of the nebula and its secrets, offered to guide Alex and Arya through the challenges they faced. She spoke of ancient artifacts hidden within the nebula, relics of a civilization long gone that held the key to understanding the true nature of the forces arrayed against them. Together, they formed a plan to seek out these artifacts, to uncover the secrets they held, and to use this knowledge to protect Arya and others like her from those who would do them harm. The journey through the nebula was fraught with danger. The trio encountered pirates and mercenaries, drawn by rumors of treasure and the promise of power. They navigated through storms of cosmic energy, where the fabric of space itself seemed to unravel. And they delved into ancient ruins, where the echoes of the past whispered secrets long forgotten. Through it all, Alex, Arya, and Dr. Venn grew closer, their bonds strengthened by shared adversity and the knowledge that they were fighting for a cause greater than themselves. Arya, with her unique abilities, proved to be an invaluable asset, unlocking the mysteries of the ancient technology they discovered and providing insights into the nature of the universe that had never before been understood. As they stood together, gazing upon the artifact that held the key to their quest, a device of unimaginable power and complexity, they knew that the path ahead would be fraught with even greater challenges. But they also knew that they had found strength in each other, a strength that gave them hope for the future. With the artifact in their possession and the secrets of the nebula laid bare before them, Alex, Arya, and Dr. Venn prepared to take the next step in their journey. They stood on the cusp of a revelation that could change the galaxy forever, armed with the knowledge that, together, they had the power to shape their own destiny. The starship, now carrying the hopes and secrets unearthed from the Lyran Nebula, slipped silently through the vast, cold expanse of space, its course set for a destination that lay at the heart of galactic intrigue and power. Alex, Arya, and Dr. Lyra Venn, united by their quest and the knowledge they had gained, understood the gravity of the steps they were about to take. The artifact, safely secured within the ship's vault, was not just a key to untold power. It was a beacon, drawing the attention of both allies and enemies, hidden in the shadows of the galaxy. Their destination was the Core Worlds, the political and economic center of the galaxy, where the lines between corporate power and governmental authority blurred into obscurity. It was here, amid the gleaming spires and bustling streets of planets like Centauri Prime, that decisions were made which shaped the fate of billions. And it was here that Alex, Arya, and Dr. Venn would find the heart of the conspiracy that sought to exploit the ancient technologies and beings like Arya for their own ends. Navigating the complex socio-political landscape of the core worlds required a delicate balance of stealth, diplomacy, and when necessary, force. The trio made contact with an underground network of dissidents and freedom fighters, individuals who shared their vision of a galaxy free from the tyranny of hidden masters and unbridled corporate greed. Among these rebels, they found unexpected allies, beings who had suffered under the yoke of oppression and who had dedicated their lives to the cause of freedom. As they delved deeper into the web of conspiracies and power plays that enveloped the core worlds, Alex, Arya, and Dr. Venn uncovered the existence of a shadowy cabal, a group that wielded immense power from behind the scenes. This cabal, known only as the Syndicate, had its hands in everything from interstellar trade to the manipulation of governments across the galaxy. And it was this Syndicate that sought to control the ancient artifacts and the beings like Arya, to harness their power for their own nefarious purposes. The stakes were clear. To expose and dismantle the Syndicate's network would be to strike a blow for freedom across the galaxy, but it would also mean placing themselves in grave danger. The Syndicate was ruthless, its agents skilled in the art of espionage and assassination, and its influence reached into the highest echelons of power. Armed with the knowledge they had gained and the alliances they had forged, Alex, Arya, and Dr. Venn embarked on a daring plan to infiltrate the Syndicate's inner circle. Using the artifact as both a lure and a weapon, they sought to expose the Syndicate's operations and its leaders, to bring them to justice and to free the galaxy from their grip. Their plan led them through a maze of intrigue and deception, 
from the glittering high-rises of Centauri Prime to the shadowed alleyways of backwater worlds, where the Syndicate's influence ran deep. They encountered agents of the Syndicate at every turn, engaging in a deadly game of cat and mouse that tested their resolve and their abilities to their limits. But even as they drew closer to their goal, the trio realized that the Syndicate was but one part of a larger, more complex puzzle. The ancient artifacts, and the civilization that created them, held secrets that went beyond the mere accumulation of power. These secrets spoke of the very fabric of the universe, of the balance between light and darkness, and of the role beings like Arya played in maintaining that balance. As they stood on the brink of uncovering the full extent of the Syndicate's plans, Alex, Arya, and Dr. Vin faced a decision that would define not just their own fates, but the future of the galaxy itself. With the forces of the Syndicate closing in and the power of the artifact at their fingertips, they prepared to make a stand, to reveal the truth, and to fight for a future where the light of freedom and understanding would shine on a galaxy long shadowed by secrets and lies. In the heart of the storm, with the web of shadows unraveling around them, the bond between Alex, Arya, and Dr. Venn became their greatest strength. Together, they faced the darkness, ready to illuminate the galaxy with the truth of the ancient past and the hope of a new dawn. In the shadow of towering structures and amidst the ceaseless hum of the core worlds, Alex, Arya, and Dr. Lyra Venn found themselves at the nexus of converging forces. With the Syndicate's web unraveling, their journey had led them to this moment where the fate of the galaxy hung in the balance. The artifact, a beacon of ancient wisdom and power, lay at the heart of their plan, a key to unlock the truth and dismantle the Syndicate's grip on the galaxy. The day of reckoning arrived under the Cloak of Darkness, a fitting time for the battle against the shadows that had long oppressed the galaxy. Their plan was audacious, a direct assault on the Syndicate's stronghold, hidden beneath the facade of a towering corporate spire on Centauri Prime. With the help of their allies, they breached the defenses, moving with precision and purpose through the labyrinth of corridors and security measures designed to protect the Syndicate's secrets. As they delved deeper into the stronghold, the trio encountered resistance, Syndicate operatives trained to deal with threats to their dominion. But Alex, Arya, and Dr. Venn bolstered by the righteous cause that united them, fought with a determination that could not be quelled. Arya, harnessing the power of the artifact, revealed the true extent of her abilities, manipulating the fabric of reality itself to protect her companions and to confound their enemies. Finally, they reached the core of the stronghold, a vast chamber where the Syndicate's leaders gathered, unaware of the storm that was about to break upon them. The confrontation that ensued was not just a battle of might but of wills, a clash between the old order and the new dawn that Alex, Arya, and Dr. Venn represented. With the power of the artifact, they exposed the Syndicate's machinations, broadcasting the evidence of their crimes across the galaxy. The revelations sent shockwaves through the core worlds and beyond, shaking the foundations of societies and governments that had long been manipulated by the Syndicate's unseen hand. In the chaos that followed, the Syndicate's leaders sought to escape, to regroup and reclaim their lost power. But they underestimated the resolve of those they had oppressed. The people of the galaxy, armed with the truth and inspired by the courage of Alex Aria and Dr. Venn, rose up in defiance, casting off the chains of fear and submission. The battle for the stronghold ended with the dawn, a new day breaking over Centauri Prime and the galaxy at large. The Syndicate was dismantled, its leaders brought to justice, and its assets seized and redistributed to those who had suffered under its rule. But the victory was not without cost. The stronghold in its final moments became a pyre, a symbol of the Syndicate's fall and of the sacrifices made to ensure the dawn of a new era. In the aftermath, as the galaxy began to heal and to build anew, Alex, Arya, and Dr. Venn took a moment to reflect on the journey that had brought them together and the future that lay ahead. The artifact, its secrets now known, became a beacon of unity and understanding, a reminder of the past and a guide for the future. Arya, her mission fulfilled, 
chose to remain on Terra, her bond with Alex and the planet itself a source of strength and hope. Together they envisioned a galaxy where the knowledge and wisdom of the ancients would be used for the betterment of all, where the shadows of oppression and fear would be dispelled by the light of truth and justice. As they stood looking out over the horizon, the sun rising to greet the new day, Alex, Arya, and Dr. Venn knew that the path ahead would be filled with challenges. But they also knew that they had ignited a spark, a light that would illuminate the galaxy for generations to come, a testament to the power of unity, courage, and the enduring quest for peace and understanding. In the aftermath of the Syndicate's fall, the galaxy found itself at a crossroads. The old power structures, once thought to be immutable, had crumbled under the weight of truth and justice, leaving a void that needed to be filled. Alex, Arya, and Dr. Lyra Venn stood at the forefront of this new dawn, their actions having sparked a movement that spread like wildfire across star systems. The rebuilding process was not without its challenges. Societies that had long been under the Syndicate's influence struggled to adapt to the new reality, to find a balance between freedom and order, between progress and preservation. Yet, amidst the uncertainty, there was a sense of hope, a belief that a better future was possible if the peoples of the galaxy could come together, united by a shared vision. Alex, having played a pivotal role in the Syndicate's downfall, found himself thrust into a position of leadership, a role he accepted with a sense of duty and a determination to honor the sacrifices that had been made. Together with Arya and Dr. Venn, he worked tirelessly to forge alliances, to build bridges between worlds that had once viewed each other with suspicion and fear. Arya, whose very existence had challenged the galaxy's understanding of life and its potential, became a symbol of unity and diversity. Her insights, drawn from the ancient wisdom of her people and the experiences she had shared with Alex and Dr. Venn, helped guide the formation of a new galactic council a body that sought to govern not through dominance, but through collaboration and mutual respect. Dr. Venn, with her vast knowledge of science and technology, led the effort to repurpose the Syndicate's resources for the benefit of all. The advanced technologies that had once been used to subjugate and control were now turned towards healing the wounds of the past, towards exploring the mysteries of the universe, and towards ensuring that the darkness that had once enveloped the galaxy would never return. As the new Galactic Council took shape, it became a beacon of hope for those who had long dreamed of a different way, a way that valued the voices of all its citizens, that sought to protect the vulnerable, and that looked to the stars not as a battlefield, but as a frontier of endless possibilities. The Council's first act was to declare the Lyran Nebula a protected region, a sanctuary for all who sought knowledge and peace. The outpost, once a haven for those on the fringes of society, became a center of learning and diplomacy, where beings from across the galaxy came together to share their cultures, their ideas, and their dreams for the future. Amidst these sweeping changes, Alex and Arya found moments of tranquility, a chance to reflect on their journey and to dream of the future. They returned to Terra, to the forest where their story had begun, and there, in the quiet of the natural world, they spoke of their hopes, their fears, and their love for each other, and for the galaxy that had become their home. But even as they looked forward, they knew that the path ahead would not be easy. The galaxy was vast, its mysteries and dangers as numerous as the stars. There would be challenges, conflicts, and trials that would test their resolve and their vision for a peaceful and united galaxy. Yet they faced the future with courage and with faith in the bonds that had brought them together. With the support of their allies and the trust of the peoples of the galaxy, they stepped into the unknown, ready to explore new horizons, to face whatever challenges lay ahead, and to continue the work of building a galaxy where light would forever shine on the shadows, where understanding and compassion would bridge the divides, and where every being, regardless of their origin, could find a place among the stars. As the sun set on Terra, casting long shadows and bathing the forest in a golden light, Alex, Arya, and Dr. Venn looked up at the sky, at the infinite expanse that awaited them. 
They knew that the story of their journey was far from over. It was but the beginning of a new chapter in the saga of the galaxy, a chapter that would be written by all those who dared to dream of a better tomorrow. Together they stepped forward, into the future, hand in hand, hearts united by a common purpose, eyes fixed on the new horizons that lay beyond the stars. As the new galactic council took root and the seeds of change began to blossom across the cosmos, Alex, Arya, and Dr. Lyra Venn embarked on a mission that would take them beyond the familiar boundaries of known space. Their journey, inspired by the ancient artifacts and the hidden knowledge they had uncovered, was driven by a quest for understanding and a desire to secure the future of the galaxy against any threats that might arise from the unknown. With the Syndicate's downfall still echoing through the corridors of power, the trio's mission was both a precaution and a promise, a commitment to prevent the rise of another force that could seek to dominate the galaxy through fear and suppression. Their ship, equipped with the latest technology and guided by the wisdom of the ages, became a vessel of exploration and diplomacy, carrying them to distant worlds and ancient ruins long forgotten by time. As they ventured into uncharted territories, they encountered civilizations that had developed in isolation, each with its own unique culture and understanding of the universe. These meetings, while sometimes challenging, were opportunities for growth and learning, not just for Alex, Arya, and Dr. Venn, but for the peoples they encountered. Through diplomacy and open exchange, they forged new alliances, expanding the Council's influence and weaving a tapestry of unity that stretched across the stars. One of their most significant discoveries came on a planet hidden within a nebula where no starlight could penetrate. Here, they found a civilization that had mastered the art of living in harmony with their environment, utilizing technology that allowed them to harness the energy of the nebula itself. This civilization, the Nebulites, were a testament to what could be achieved when ambition and technology were guided by wisdom and respect for the natural world. The Nebulites, with their deep understanding of cosmic energy and their philosophy of balance, became invaluable allies in the Council's efforts to maintain peace and stability in the galaxy. Their technology, shared freely with the Council, provided new ways to power cities, to heal the sick, and to protect the vulnerable demonstrating the power of cooperation and the sharing of knowledge for the common good. As the network of alliances grew, so too did the understanding that the galaxy was far more interconnected than previously thought. The ancient artifacts, once seen as relics of a bygone era, were revealed to be part of a larger puzzle, a map that pointed to a convergence of energies and destinies that spanned the cosmos. Arya, with her unique connection to these artifacts, became a guide, leading the Council and its allies towards a deeper understanding of the universe and their place within it. But with new knowledge came new challenges. The discovery of a dormant threat, a force that had once sought to shape the destiny of the galaxy in its image, loomed on the horizon. This ancient entity, known only as the Void, had been biding its time, gathering strength in the darkness between the stars. The threat of the Void united the Council and its allies in a way that nothing else could. Races that had once been enemies stood shoulder to shoulder, preparing to defend the galaxy against a common foe. The legacy of the stars, passed down through generations and preserved in the artifacts, became a beacon of hope, a reminder that light could triumph over darkness, that unity could overcome division. As Alex, Arya, and Dr. Venn led the charge against the Void, they were not just fighting for the present, they were fighting for the future, for the children who would grow up under a sky filled with stars, free from the shadow of fear and oppression. They fought with the knowledge that their actions would be remembered, that their legacy would be one of courage, of hope, and of an unbreakable commitment to the light. And so, as the final battle against the Void unfolded, Amidst the fury of cosmic forces and the rallying cries of a galaxy united, the legacy of the stars shone brighter than ever, a testament to the enduring power of hope, unity, and the indomitable spirit of those who dare to dream of a better tomorrow. In the void of space, where darkness sought to engulf the light of countless stars, the galaxy stood on the brink of a conflict that would determine its fate. 
the ancient entity known as the Void, a remnant of a time before the stars sang their songs of creation, had awakened, its hunger for dominion unquelled by the eons of silence. Against this darkness, Alex, Arya, Dr. Lyra Venn, and the united forces of the galaxy prepared to make their stand, their resolve a beacon against the encroaching shadow. The battle that ensued was unlike any the galaxy had witnessed. It was fought not just with weapons of energy and matter, but with the very essence of the cosmos itself. Arya, her connection to the ancient artifacts now fully realized, stood at the heart of the maelstrom, a conduit for the light that sought to pierce the void's darkness. Around her, the allies of the Council wielded the power of unity and technology, their ships forming a tapestry of light that danced across the void. As the conflict raged, the fabric of space itself seemed to bend under the weight of the opposing forces. The void, ancient and inscrutable, unleashed its fury in waves of darkness that sought to extinguish the stars themselves. But for every wave of darkness, there was a countersurge of light, a chorus of defiance sung by the united peoples of the galaxy, their voices joined in a harmony that reverberated through the cosmos. In the heart of the battle, amidst the chaos and the light, Alex and Dr. Venn piloted their ship with a grace born of desperation and hope. Their mission was critical, to deliver Arya to the heart of the void, where she could unleash the full power of the artifacts, a power that held the promise of ending the conflict once and for all. As they approached the core of the void, the darkness grew oppressive, a tangible force that sought to crush their spirits and extinguish their light. But they were not alone. Alongside them flew the ships of the Nebulites, their technology harnessing the nebular energy to create shields of light that protected the fleet from the void's assault. The moment of truth arrived as Arya, guided by the ancient wisdom of the artifacts and the strength of her companions, stepped into the heart of the void. With a voice that transcended language, she invoked the power of the stars, the legacy of light that had been passed down through the ages. The artifacts, resonating with her call, unleashed a wave of pure energy, a light so bright that it pierced the darkness, reaching into the very essence of the void. What happened next would forever remain a mystery to those who witnessed it. The light, colliding with the darkness, created a maelstrom of cosmic energy that threatened to tear the fabric of reality apart. But from within the chaos, a new harmony emerged, a balance between light and dark that spoke of a deeper understanding of a universe where all forces could coexist in equilibrium. When the light faded and the echoes of the conflict subsided, the galaxy found itself forever changed. The void, its hunger quelled by the harmony of light, receded into the depths of space, its presence a reminder of the delicate balance that governed all things. In the aftermath of the battle, the galaxy breathed a sigh of relief. The threat of the void had been averted, not through domination, but through understanding and unity. The Council, bolstered by the victory and the new alliances that had been formed, dedicated itself to maintaining the balance, to ensuring that the legacy of the stars would endure for generations to come. Alex, Arya, and Dr. Venn, their roles in the galaxy's salvation immortalized, turned their gaze to the horizon, where new adventures awaited. Their journey had taught them the power of unity, of diversity, and of the indomitable spirit that defined the inhabitants of the galaxy. As they set forth on their new path, they carried with them the lessons of the past, the hopes of the present, and the dreams of the future. The harmony of light, a symphony of stars and souls united in purpose, continued to play across the cosmos, a melody of peace and understanding that would guide the galaxy through the ages a testament to the enduring legacy of those who dare to dream and to fight for a universe where light shines eternal. In the wake of the galaxy's most tumultuous battle, where the forces of light triumphed over the shadows of the void, the universe found itself in a period of unprecedented peace and unity. This era, marked by reconstruction and reconciliation, saw former adversaries come together to heal the wounds of the past. At the heart of this renaissance were Alex, Arya, and Dr. Lyra Venn, whose names had become synonymous with courage, hope, and the indomitable spirit of unity. 
As the architects of this new dawn, they were celebrated across the stars. Yet in their hearts, they remained explorers, forever drawn to the mysteries of the cosmos and the promise of discovery. With the galaxy's eyes turned towards them, they embarked on a mission not of war, but of enlightenment, a journey to share the knowledge they had gained and to learn from the myriad cultures that made up the galactic tapestry. Their ship, once a beacon in the battle against the void, became a vessel of peace, traversing the star lanes and nebulae with a new purpose. Each world they visited added a thread to the ever-growing fabric of shared understanding and mutual respect. From the technologically advanced planets of the core worlds to the remote and untouched worlds beyond the known galaxy, Alex, Arya, and Dr. Venn served as ambassadors of the Council, spreading the message of unity and cooperation. One by one, isolated systems and distant civilizations joined the Galactic Council, drawn by the promise of a collective future where each voice was heard and every culture valued. The Council itself evolved, becoming not just a governing body, but a symbol of the galaxy's diversity and its shared aspirations. Yet as the universe expanded before them, so too did the realization that their journey was far from over. The cosmos was a place of infinite wonder and infinite challenge, a realm where the light of understanding had yet to reach every dark corner. There were still mysteries to unravel, from the origins of the ancient artifacts to the destiny of the universe itself. Amidst their travels, Alex and Arya's bond grew ever stronger, their love a testament to the power of connection across all divides. Together with Dr. Venn, whose wisdom and vision had guided them through their darkest times, they looked forward to a future of endless possibilities. In the quiet moments, as their ship sailed through the starlit void, they would often reflect on the journey that had brought them here, on the battles fought and the lessons learned. They spoke of those who had stood with them, of the sacrifices made, and of the heroes who had risen in the galaxy's hour of need. And when they looked to the stars, they saw not just points of light, but beacons of hope, each one a story waiting to be told, a journey waiting to be undertaken. They understood that the legacy they had built, the peace they had fought for, was but the beginning of a larger story, one that would continue to unfold long after their names had faded into legend. As the final chapter of their saga drew to a close, Alex, Arya, and Dr. Venn stood on the bridge of their ship, their eyes fixed on the horizon where the light of a new dawn broke across the galaxy. They knew that the road ahead would be filled with challenges and wonders beyond imagination, but they faced it with open hearts and unyielded spirits, for they carried with them the greatest truth of all, that in the vast and wondrous expanse of the universe, it was unity, love, and the quest for knowledge that shone the brightest. And so, their unending voyage continued, a journey not just through the stars, but into the depths of the soul, a voyage of discovery that transcended time and space, echoing into eternity. In the cosmic dance of light and darkness, their legacy would endure, a beacon for all who would navigate the starry sea, guided by the hope of a future where the galaxy was bound not by fear, but by the unbreakable bonds of understanding, respect, and love.